hey there. Hey, I'm so glad you can make it. Yeah, I know. Oh, I heard about that. It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Hey, it happens to everybody. It happens to you're here. That's all that matters. Okay? Just sit down, get comfortable. Yeah, I got these new bar stools so you can sit up a little higher and you can see better and I can work on you a little easier because you're a little you don't have to um hold your hands up on my table here when I do your nails. Now, yeah, it is my first week back. Yeah, this has been my first week. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I had to have some work done on my, my right hip. Yeah, there, I, I can't remember now what they said. There was, I had some problems with it, so I had to go through some uh, physical therapy, and they had to go in and adjust some stuff. I'm telling you, when she hit me with that car, she tore me slam up. I mean, I didn't think it was that bad at the time. You know, they say that when, when, when you're in involved in something like that, the adrenaline gets going, and you're just... You know, you're so pumped up that you're not aware how hurt you are. Well, I think that's what happened to me because I did not feel like I had got hurt that bad. I mean, I don't remember. I don't remember half of the stuff that they say happened when, you know, when she hit me. Um, but yeah, apparently I hurt, I hurt my hip a bit and they had to go in and do some work and had to go through uh, the physical therapy, like I said, and I'm still doing that once a week and I'm going to be doing it for a little while. But I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I, 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 every now and then, I have to kind of sit down, which is why I got these bar stools. I got I actually got three of them. They had them on sale up yonder at uh, the big lots. They had, they had them, I don't remember. I think they were $29.99 each. And I got three of them. So I could have two over here uh, on, on your side, and I could have one over here. If I need to sit down, I can sit down, and it doesn't, it, you know, I can still work and sit if I need to take a little weight off that hip for a little bit um so but yeah so i'm i'm doing great yeah and yeah i imagine you did i imagine you got yeah everybody knows what happened yeah i heard they even put something in the paper about it and i never saw anything about that woman hitting me and then what the judge had her do she had to come stay with me i did i made her come stay with me that was my suggestion. I didn't know if the judge would go for it or not. I mean, I didn't want any money. I don't want any of this woman's money. I just want this. Her whole attitude just irritated me to death. I mean, she was just so snooty and just so talk, talk down to everybody. I, I just wanted her to get a better feel of what it's like to be a regular person. And that's all I wanted. I wanted her to try, you know, maybe learn something from all this. And I think she did. I, I really think it helped her out a lot. And yeah, she covered my, my medical bills and she's paying for my physical therapy. And she, she even gave me some money to cover the time that I couldn't work. Yeah. <laughs> you hear Trish in there. She's, she's nervous. She's still mumbling about her. I know. I know. Darling. She got sick and tired of Scarlett being here. Well, she's not here now. I, I'm back. Okay. I think I think Trish is trying to get some money out of this too. <laughs> well, I bet if you made a big enough a stink about it, she'd give you some money. <laughs> Sorry, no, you're not here to hear about that. Um, all right, no, we're not just doing your nails, are we? Are we doing your toes? Are we doing a pedicure too? No, just nails. Okay, and we're doing something else in addition to that. Yeah, you, um, did Trish tell you about it? I have started doing um, a little bit of facial stuff, and what we're going to do for you today, and I'm not even going to charge you for it, I just, you're, you're going to be my, my guinea pig, you agreed to do it, thank you for that, because I haven't done many, I mean, I don't have official training or anything, this is just something that I thought I would try, you know, and I wouldn't even charge that much for it, um, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do, right in your T-zone, in the T-zone right here, and up here. Um, maybe a little bit down here. We're going to do a light uh, facial scrub. It's a sugar scrub with um, organic fractionated coconut oil and sugar. See? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna mix these together, and we're gonna put it on your face. And it's gonna feel a little weird, and it will probably be a little bit crumbly, like when it dries. If it you know, the sugar can kind of fall off, don't worry about it. Just, I'll sweep up down here when we're done. And I'm going to do that for you first. And 
then we're going to come back after we, I'm going to take all that off. After we do that, I'm going to come back and just put the coconut oil in that area and let it soak in. I think you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. So you came here without makeup, without foundation, good, just like I said. So we're going to, we're going to do that. And then we're also going to do your nails. Uh, you you uh, mentioned when you made your appointment that you wanted to do the the, the stick on the um, the SE sleek sticks. Okay, that's great. I have a whole box full of those here, and these are some that I had in the back right here. And this box is full of all different kinds and colors and designs of of sleek sticks. So you can pick out any kind you want, and we'll we'll do those today. Great. All right, now let's see. Oh, my nail color. Oh, this this is something I just I just slapped on there this morning. It's um, I got it right here. It's uh, L.A. Colors, Color Craze uh, nail polish uh, with hardeners, and the color is something. You wanna know something? Oh, okay, here it is. Fun in the Sun. I got this at uh, I believe I got this at Family Dollar. I think it's like. 99 cents or something it's not one it's not one of our stock here i just um i really like it because when you put it on it's actually a little darker than you think it's going to be now this is two coats with no top coat because i haven't had time to do it yet uh, maybe i'll do a top coat um, after your appointment but it's no hurry uh but I, I love this color you know why you know those those uh um jelly beans that you get at easter time and not the spice ones, but the regular ones. This color is exactly the same as the purple jelly beans, isn't it? It's exactly the same, and I just thought that was as cool as could be. So, um, yeah, that's it's nothing fancy, nothing special. I just uh, put it on because my uh, my nails were looking really bad. I've been helping Trish. We got here early this morning, which is why I'm wearing this this thing. This is one Trish's. Uh, she had a little issue back here in the stock room and we had to get here early she called me she, she said Lynette can you come in early I said yeah what's going on she said I got a little bit of a bug problem in the storage room back there and can you can you come help me oh I said absolutely what time you want me to be there she said can you get here about six I said six in the morning she said well yeah I said I'll I'll try I mean this was like 10 o'clock last night I said darling I'm about to go to bed right now if I'm coming in at six in the morning golly so we came in and what happened was she had gone to Costco it was probably a month ago she went to Costco and bought this gigantic bag of dog food you know she's got that big old Great Dane dog I don't know it's, it looks like a small horse and it gallops I mean it gallops this dog does not run like a dog it runs like a daggum horse it's as big as I am I believe it weighs more than I do is it a Great Dane? Yes, yeah, a great day. And uh, so anyway, she has to buy a lot of dog food. Well, she bought this 50-pound bag of dog food at Costco, and she was there about a month ago, but she wasn't going straight home, and she didn't want to leave it in the car because you know, if it gets hot in there, it makes the car smell funny. So she just brought it in and stuck it back here in, in the, the stock room and forgot about it. I mean, it was covered up with some smocks or something, and she forgot it was in there. Well... Uh, apparently there were some eggs of some kind and there's some kind of insect eggs and they hatched and she came in when she was here Friday she said she opened that door and there were these little moths like a, a small like that big a small moth and they were flying around she said they were flying around in there everywhere said it looked like that plague of locusts in the Bible it was kind of like that she said she had to shut that door real quick and she hadn't been able to go in there because the, the bugs kept coming out so if you see a little moth flying around in here, that's why. Uh, but anyway, we have to get everything out. She called an exterminator and she and, and wanted to know what could be done. And the exterminator was going to charge her like $150 just to come out here and look at the problem. And she said, I ain't paying you $150 to do this. I can do this myself. But the exterminator said, well, before you do anything, you need to pull everything out of there. I mean, everything. All the boxes, the dog food certainly needs to go. So she's already disposed of the big bag of dog food. So what we have to do, we got here early this morning, and I put this on over my shirt so I didn't get it messed up. And so we had to pull everything out of there, and we did that. But what we're going to do now, and everything now 
is sitting in one of those uh, empty rooms. You know, we got that empty office suite next door. The landlord said we could set them over there for now, but we just have to make sure that, it, you know, that area doesn't get full of moths. So we'll open the doors and shoo them out if we have to. There's really nothing else that has moths in it. It was just that bag of dog food, but we just want to make, make sure we get them all and make sure they don't, they haven't had time to lay eggs in anything else. I mean, if they, if they're able to, I mean, they may lay eggs in a box of hair color, who knows, you know, so we want to make sure we get them all at one time. So we got some, we got a, a, a pack of bug bombs at Lowe's and after we close today, after everybody's gone, we're going to read the instructions and try to do it right, but uh, we're going to set them off at least one in there just to make sure we kill whatever's in there and kill it all. We may actually, you know what, we're going to have to do it to those boxes too. I just hope it won't damage anything. We're going to have to set off, we're going to have to expose that stuff to that bug bomb stuff too. Don't you think so? Yeah, that's right. So that's why I'm dressed like this. That's why I have this thing on. I didn't get my shirt dirty or get any stuff on it so uh yeah so that's what we're, we've been working on i've been here for a while this morning now my hip's fine i haven't had any problem at all that i'm gonna tell you something that physical therapy is a miracle that stuff is fantastic i mean i feel like a new woman i do i have I, i'll tell you one thing's funny since since she hit me with that car my flexibility has gotten better i can do a split now i never could i've been trying all my life to do a split Never could do one. As hard as I tried, even the best shape of my life, I never could do a split. But I can now. So I got that going for me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop talking now. All right, are you ready? Okay, I got the cape on you. I put that, it's like a haircutting cape. And that's just to make sure that none of the, um, none of the sugar that gets down on your clothes because it will have oil in it. I'm gonna have the coconut oil mixed in with it and I don't want it to get on your clothes. So I just wanna make sure that you're protected. All right, now just relax, just relax. Do you need to, Do you need anything, you want anything to drink? Any, no, okay. I'm gonna make sure that's fixed there. What's going on with your hair? Are you seeing Trish after me? What have you got your hair put up in? What is that? Like I'm kind of a little, well I just wonder because it looks like it's loose. It looks like that, is it a clip? Like a hair clip? Oh yeah, take it out. See your hair is kind of sliding out of it. You just wash it. Yeah, my hair's like that too when I first wash it. it gets, it's like it's slippery or something. Well hang on a minute. I might have something here that'll work. Let me see what I got in my pockets. Uh, okay. Well, your hair's cutting layers in it. Okay. I have I have this. It's a giant uh, hair clip. And on this piece right here, it has a little bit of a, um, it's not really rubber. It's kind of like plastic. But it helps grip your hair and keeps it from sliding out. Now, if you just hold still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull your hair up on this side over here. And I'm, I'm just going to get, because it got swooped over a little bit, I'm going to get this biggest section right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin it. I'm going to just clip it up. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. Now, <clears throat> let me see. My own hair's falling out. I'm going to get to the other side. I have a smaller one here. And this one's black. And it's just a regular old thing. So I'm going to get this hair over here. I'll pull it up and get it. Oh, he, this one of my, my daughter's, it's, this is, this is Brittany's, I don't know why it's in here, it's a tiny, little, it looks like, it looks like a mouth, doesn't it? It looks like an alligator or something. I'm going to bring this up. Just trust me, it's, we'll fix it right after we're done. I just, right now, I just want to get it off your face. I just want to make sure, because this oil, your hair will kind of stick to it, and I don't want to mess up your hair, so I'm going to make sure it's all off your face. It doesn't have to be pretty. Ain't nobody coming in here and going to look. Don't worry about it. Oh, honey, I don't worry what people think about me anyway. I don't let them look. Who cares? They don't pay my bills. I don't care if they think. Here's just a brown, small one. I'm going to get this right up here. A little bit. You got some little strays. 
right on the top up by your forehead that'll hold them back now um, since you've got such long hair like mine I'm gonna pull it up like that and I'm just gonna twist it and just attach it to the back of your head okay now do you want to do that I have this this which will work for that and inside it is sort of rubberized see how it's bumpy and it's it's got sort of a <clears throat> sort of a rubber feel to it this also helps to grip your hair and keep it from sliding out I use these all the time because my hair is so fine that it just slides right out of things or we can go with this if you'd rather do this this is one of mine I promise you I don't have lice or anything uh, this was made by Scoon. I never know how to say this SCU with the dots over it NCI Scoon Scoonsy Scunchy anyway that's who made this and it has the gripper stuff on it too what I can do is just take what's left and put it back like that and clip it so would you like to use this or this with this okay so let me gather your hair now I'm going to twist it right behind your head mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it too tight now I'm gonna hold it I'm gonna hold it with one hand and I'm gonna come back with the clip and now you tell me if I'm pulling any of your hair okay I'm just gonna get your hair in there and I'm just gonna get this to stay right on the back of your head now how's that feel is that good? Okay, wonderful. You comfortable? I believe we got it all. All right, that's good. Now we're going to get started. We're going to mix the facial scrub. And what I will do, I'm going to put it on your face and I'm just going to gently massage. I'm not going to do your entire face because honestly, I don't think you need it. <clears throat> it's just a light exfoliator. Just in, in this area right here on your face. Does that sound good? And then we're going to um, let that set for a little bit. I don't know, just a few. It doesn't have to stay on there long. It doesn't matter how long it stays on there. It can stay on there all day if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. But, uh, and then we're going to remove that. And then we're going to put some just regular, uh, some of this fractionated organic coconut oil right here all over your face just a small amount just a thin layer it's not gonna feel heavy or greasy your your skin will absorb a lot of it you'll be surprised after it's been on your face for a little bit you won't even be able to feel it anymore it's it's the greatest stuff I love it all right you ready okay so in here I, I didn't measure this so I don't know how much sugar this is maybe a half of a cup or so in this little glass container and I just grabbed a, <laughs> I just grabbed a plastic spoon. This is one from Mitchie's, that ice cream place up the street. I just grabbed it and brought it in because I thought it would work pretty well to mix it. And then what I can do, I can get some on the spoon after I, I, I get it all mixed the way I want it and apply it to your face. Okay, so now you don't need a lot of this. You really don't. Um, this is a bottle that I bought. Now, I get this from the Rocky Mountain Oil Company. It is cold-pressed uh, organic fractionated coconut oil. And you can use this for anything. There are so many different uses for this. I mean, you just it, it's incredible all the different things you can do with coconut oil. And I buy the fractionated because it, it, it lasts longer. It has a longer shelf life. And I, I use this on my feet at night, and it just makes them feel smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't have to pumice my feet anywhere near as much if I use this right after my shower every night because I take my showers at night. That's just the way it seems to work best. And I put this on there and it is just fantastic. I love it. It's better than any foot cream or lotion I have ever tried. And uh, I, I think this is an 8 ounce bottle. Um, maybe it's 6 ounce. I don't know. But it was like maybe $12. But uh, the only thing I don't like about this container is that see it has an opening at the top like this and it's kind of hard to measure out if you just want a small amount 
it's kind of hard to get. It just pours out. So what I did, um, I put some of this in a smaller container that has a different opening on it. I'll show you. So I have this here. And this is the same stuff as this. I just poured it in this little, I got this at Walmart. It's just a little travel container. And it has a flip top on it, and it's the top screws on so I can add more if I want to. And it has a flip top with a small opening so I can measure out the amount that I want. And that's how I'm going to add this to the sugar to make the scrub for your face. Okay? Now, again, like I said, you don't need a whole lot, but you do have to mix it. Now, I'm just going to put some in here. I see I'm just going to pour it. like I'm just going to drip it in there like that just drip 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 and I'm not measuring it as you can see you just kind of have to eyeball it you just kind of have to figure out what works for you and you can make it to any uh, texture that you like I'm gonna mix it in and I also like to say this is a great scrub for your feet if you want to do a foot scrub it's wonderful or your hands cuticles anything like that. I mean, you can use this on any part of your body. I'll add a little more. There's more sugar in here than I thought. <laughs> okay. Last time I mixed this up, I didn't have this much sugar. I probably overdid it a little bit. Now you see it's starting to, it's starting to change. It's starting to stick together, which is what you want. And just mix it like that. Mix it all around. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have a smell. That's one thing about this coconut oil. There's no smell to it. It's a smell. It doesn't smell like anything. I'll put a little more. Okay. And I'm going to mix it again. I want to have it a little more. I want it. I don't want it. To, I don't want it to be quite so dry. Now, if you were using this as a scrub on your hands or your feet, you wouldn't have to add this much oil. It would be totally fine. Sort of looks like snow cream, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies, girl. I'm telling you, that pollen's a bear. I go out every morning, I have a yellow car, whether I like it or not. Like they say, it doesn't snow in the south, it pollens. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it does. Okay. I don't, you know what? I want to make sure this, this will stay on your face. Because I want it to set for a little bit before we remove it. There we go. That's looking good. All right. Now. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm only going to do this area. A little bit up here. And right down here. And we're just going to let it set. And I'll rub it in just a little bit. I'm not going to rub it hard. Get right down in here in the sides. And it's a wonderful pore cleanser. It really is. Okay, now I'll get some in my spoon here. Okay, now I want you to hold still. You don't have to close your eyes. That's totally fine. Now I'm going to rub this down the side of your nose and on the top. And right on the, yeah, right there. I'm not going to get in your eye. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get a little more. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, it's gonna a little bit of it's gonna come off. That's all right. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Now I'm gonna right under your get you. Yep, right there. Right in there. All right now. I'm gonna come up here and get your forehead. And any that flakes off, honestly, is probably just gonna get caught in your eyebrows. <laughs> So don't worry about it. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh-huh. There. Perfect. It's okay. Yeah, like I said, it's going to flake off. It's going to come off. I'm going to rub this in a little bit. Okay. Good. i get the nose a little more. And right on your chin. Perfect. So now we're done with the scrub. But if you want to, 
I could put this in a baggie or, or a container or something. You can take it home if you would like to use use up the rest of it. I have, I have plenty, honey. I don't need it. You want to? Okay. When we're done, I'll find something to put this in. You can take it with you. Now, we're going to let that, we're just going to let that soak in a little bit. And you don't have to use sugar to make this. You could actually do this with salt if you want to. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just You just need something with a little bit of grit to it, a little bit of abrasiveness. You, you, there, like I said, with this coconut oil, there's so many things you can do. Now, you're good. Okay, we'll set these aside. Uh, I'm not going to forget. We're going to get it off shortly. Now we're going to look at some, uh, we're going to look at some of these Essie Slick Sticks. You got your nail polish off too. Good girl. Good girl. All right. I'm going to move my stuff out of your way. Give you some room to put your hands here. All right. Right there on my little pad. Just put them there. Okay. Now, did you have a certain color in mind? Was there a particular blue? Okay. Are you sure? Because I'm telling you, I, I, let me show you this one. Now, I wore these the other day, and I was surprised. Let me find them. Hang on a minute. They're, um, they're kind of fuchsia, and they look kind of ridiculous when you first look at them. <laughs> and it's these right here. Now, they don't look like much in the package, but I'm going to tell you, when you put them on, they are absolutely adorable. But there are tiny flowers on here. And when you have them on your nails, they are just the cutest things you ever saw. And this is called uh, Small Pleasures. I have several of these if you want to give this a try. It, it's sort of a, not really a hot pink, it's more of a fuchsia color. No? Oh, maybe some other time. So now you're looking for blue. Now let me see what I have. The first thing I have is this. And this one, honestly, there's this one right here. And it's pretty. But for some reason, that that color with that silver dotty stuff on it. You remember back in the 80s when women used to wear those kind of like Angora sweaters with the puffy shoulders and the shoulder pads. And they had... They would be kind of a blue color or something, you know, kind of like this. And then they would have silver, you know, look like it was kind of raining down from the top up around the shoulder. Remember that? That's what this reminds me of. I just, I don't, I can't get into it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It just reminds me of that. Are you, do you like this color blue? Now this is kind of a, um, it's more of like a, an aqua blue, I guess. No? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> No deal. Gosh, I have a lot of those. I mean, I got 10, 15 of them in here. Okay. Now, this one is more, this is more of a blue-green. I mean, this is, yeah. It's a neat color now. It's got a, it's got a pattern to it, kind of like a crocodile purse or something. Yeah. And they are shiny. When you put these on, they do have a shine to them. What do you think of that? This one is called Croc Madame. <laughs> That's what it's called. Croc Madame. No? Okay. Not a problem. I have more. Ooh, I like this one. This one's really pretty. This one is called See Me Shine. S-E-A. See Me Shine. And this one is a, a more of a, like a royal blue. And it has silver spots on it. You like that? You want to go with it? Okay. Well, we'll hold this one out. Let me see if I have any more in here that are blue. Um... That might be my last blue. I tried I tried to group them all get, together in colors. Well, now, I do have this. Now, this is not blue. This is called Show Me Your Stuff. It's it's fancy. Kind of looks like wallpaper at rich people's houses. It's purple, but, you know, hey, give it a look. What do you think of that? It is. It, uh, I don't think it's terribly shiny. It is textured. It's kind of bumpy. It's got a darker purple and a lighter purple. No? Okay. I just thought I'd offer. Now, I do have some silvers. I don't have any gold. I have some silver color. No? Alright, well, we'll go with this here. The See Me Shine. Not a problem. Okay. I'm going to move my box aside. Oh, this? Oh. <laughs> Look. 
we, well, see, Jimmy went out to some yard sales last Saturday. I didn't get to go because I was busy. I was here, and I didn't get to, I don't get to have any fun. So he goes yard selling without me. Well, you, you know how I know he, he loves me and he knows me? He remembers this from when I was in middle school. I used to, my mama, my mama signed me up to get Cricket Magazine, which was a, a kind of a literary magazine for kids. Well, they sent me a tape, a cassette tape of this, uh, and it has all different kinds of songs and poems and things on it and stories and stuff. Well, I've been looking everywhere for a, like a CD version of that, and I can't find it. I don't think they ever put it on CD. I mean, none of this was back in the 80s. Well, Jimmy was out at yard sales, and he was looking through some records, and he found this, which is the exact thing that I had. And I just, I just kissed him on the mouth when he came home with this. I said, I cannot believe, first of all, that you remembered that I had this and I had been looking for it. And second of all, that you found one. I'm just, I'm so excited. This, um, and it shows you on the front some of the stuff that it has. Uh, it features the voices of Clifton Fat Fadiman, Burl Ives, Sam Levinson, Kay Webb, Richard Wilbur, and T.S. Eliot. Now, I love T.S. Eliot in high school. I did. I loved his poems. And he is on here reading. It's him reading one of his own poems. Uh, Arnold Lavelle, John Ciardi, and others. And on the back, it shows you every everything that's on here. And on one side of the record, they have some stuff. And on the other side, they have other stuff. They have the Cricket Song, Cricket Jacket, which is a poem, Little Green Riding Hood, which is a a funny story that a grandfather tells his granddaughter. <laughs> a Night Light, which is a really neat little poem. A Hike in New York City. The Fox Song by Burl Ives. And Some Days I Might Take Less, which I didn't get as a kid. Maybe I'll, t I'll get it now. Before I Count Fifteen, which is, I think it's kind of like a poem. Teaching Toffees. And the Cricket Song again at the end. And on side two, they have even more. They have the cricket song again, which I think the lyrics slightly change depending on where you are in the record. Um, I know because I remember on the, the cricket song at the end of side A, they say something at the, at the end of the song. They say something kind of like, um, we have so many things for you. Just wait until you hear side two. So they change the lyrics depending on where it falls on here. They have Opposites, Toad's Tongue Twister, Why the Sky's Blue, How Did Mary Poppins Find Me, which is a really neat, um, it's a really neat explanation of where the author of that story got the idea for that character. It's really cool. Uh, the Comic Strip Mouse, Toad's Garden, Of Ships and Trees, The Song of the Jellicles, which is what T.S. Eliot reads. This is one of his poems love it. And the cricket song again for the final time at the end of side B. So I was very excited. The only problem is my excitement. I was excited but then I remember, well crap, I don't have a record player. But Jimmy said, well, you know, I got one in my man cave. And I said, well, I'm not allowed in there. What? Well, how am I going to listen to this thing? I'm going to have to go to the library and see if they have one, I guess. He said, you don't have to go all the way to the library. You just, you just, you know what? We have to figure out a password. We have to find something that you have to be able to do to get in my man cave because I'm not allowed in there. That's all right, though, because I have my own. I converted a storage building into my into my domain, and he ain't allowed in there. We think it's important to have, you know, personal space. It's not like there's anything weird going on in there. It's just nice to have your own area where you can just relax and just be by yourself. Because we're both kind of like that. We're kind of... Loners sometimes. We like to be alone. I go out there. I read. I have a bunch of books out there. So I said, well, uh, well, Jimmy, what can I do to get into the man cave long enough to listen to my record? And he said, well, I don't know. Let's think of something. Let's think of something good that maybe you can do, maybe you can't do. I said, all right. And he said, well, lately, the last record I listened to was Jerry Clower. He said, do you know who Jerry Clower is? I said, you know, fool, you know I know who Jerry Clower is. We went to see him together at the Ag Center in 1989 together. You don't remember that? Because, you know, we went to high school together. He said, oh, that's right. You know who Jerry Clower is? I said, I absolutely do. 
I've heard all of his records when I was a kid. We had at least two of his records. I know we had Clower Power, and then there was another one. I can't remember the name of it. I know the I know the picture on the front if I saw it, but I don't remember the name of it. He said, okay, I'll tell you what you do then. You know that Jerry Clower, whenever he did his uh, comedy, he would talk about the Leadbetters. I said, well, yeah, they, they were in most of his stories. At least one of the Leadbetters was in every story he told. Not every story, but most of them. And he said, all right, I'll tell you what you do then. If you want to get in there and listen to your record, you name all the Leadbetters. Now, let's see if you can do that from memory. Now, you can't go look it up. Put your phone down. I want you to tell me all the Leadbetters' names without looking it up. I said, okay, just give me a minute. I believe I can do that. There's Uncle Versi and Aunt Pat. Arnell, Burnell, Raynell, W.L., Linnell, Odell, Udell, Marcel, Claude, Eugene, and Clovis. He about fell out on the floor. <laughs> He said, that's exactly right. How do you remember that? I said, I don't know. I just pulled it out of some dusty part of my brain back here, I guess. So, I got to listen to my record. And I brought it up here because a friend of mine wants to borrow it. She's got a hipster son who's into records. And he wants to hear it because he thought it would be cool. I said, whatever. As long as he don't tear it up and he gets back to me, he can listen to it. I don't care. He walks around in glasses with no lenses. I don't get this man... And he wears these skinny pants. It's funny because somehow it defies any laws of physics I know of. They're baggy at the top and skinny at the bottom, and they don't they don't fall off. I don't know how that works. He's a very strange man. I don't I don't get it at all. And he's always doing something weird with his facial hair. Where do these people come from? Mm. Sorry, God, I am just talking. Well, see, I've been cooped up in the house. I am not really anybody to talk to. So I get here and I just chew everybody's ear off. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will totally stop. And we will do this now. What we're going to Here's how we'll do this. Because I know you, you, you're you itching to get that stuff off your face. <laughs> I know. I know it feels weird and crumbly. But kind of think of it when you're making a pie crust. You know, if you're making it with, a, say, if you make it with butter. Like if you have... um. You can make those ginger, you can take ginger snaps and crush them up and use the melted butter and you mash it down in there or graham cracker or whatever. It has that texture to it. It's kind of crunchy but mushy at the same time. I know that's how your face feels right now. Just pretend you're in a pie tin. You'll be fine. Here's what we'll do. We're going to do one hand. And these don't take long at all. These are super simple and of course you don't even have to wait for them to dry. That's why I like them. And then what I'm going to do, I'll show you what. I'm going to show you how we're going to get it off. You're not going to have to go over to the sink and, you know, not going to dunk your head in the water or anything. We're going to take cotton balls. And I have a little spray bottle here of water. And I'm going to just spray areas. And then we're just going to dab it right off. See, the water will help dissolve the sugar. And it'll just come right off. Okay. That way you, you can stay here. You don't have to get up and wander around. And we'll get it off. And then we're going to apply some of the coconut oil to your whole face. Just a thin layer. But first let's do that one hand. Let's start with your left hand. Now I'm to open the package. You can see the package itself is kind of sealed up here on the top. There's a little sticker over it. Um, and I have my scissors. Now I'm going to use these when I am trimming this stuff because when you put them on uh, they're going to overlap your fingernails a little bit so I take this and I will trim off the excess and then we're going to use a nail file um, to file it down and make it nice and smooth okay I'll get this open and here we have them see now this is a self-contained little kit here it comes with the uh, the nail stickers, of course, and then it comes with instructions, and it also comes with a little nail file and a cuticle pusher. So each set is is contained. You don't have, you don't need any extra uh, materials or supplies. You don't even have to trim them with scissors if you don't want to. You can just take that nail file. It has, of course, a rough side and a smoother side. You can just file it right off and pull off the extra if you want to, and I do that sometimes, just depending on 
what I feel like doing. So we're going to cut it. I'm going to cut the plastic, what I just did. And now there's this shiny piece in here. I don't really know what the point of this is. It has something to do with the stickers, but honestly, I don't know what because it's not attached to the thing that the stickers are stuck to. Pull that out now. Here they are, and you have some, of course, for each hand. You feel that? Feel how rough that is? It's not super rough, but it has a little bumpiness to it. Uh -huh. Now, see, it's on a clear piece of plastic, and on the underside, it's kind of gray. So this is what we're going to use. And they come in different sizes. Of course, you have more than five because you you might need a bigger one or a smaller one depending on the size of your nails. So, and I will, of course, look at your nails and figure out what size you need. And in here is this little packet. I'll fold it up. And inside, you have this, another little packet. And they have the instructions. If you've never done it before, it will show you how to do it. So we have this tiny little plastic thing here. And you see it has the nail file. It has a dark gray side and a lighter gray. <clears throat> Sorry, sort of an off-white. And a little plastic thing for your cuticles. Your cuticles look pretty good, but I may need to do a little bit of adjustment. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got frog in my throat. It's dusty back there. I'm not saying anything about you. Honey, it gets dusty everywhere. Don't even look in my den right now. You could write your name on the entertainment center. You can go in there and write wash me on it. I probably wouldn't even notice. <sighs> okay. Dust. I swear it gets everywhere. So, right here. Emery board cuticle pusher. Now I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna take a look at your hand. We'll start with the left. Actually, let me go ahead and do this on both. So I can just put this up. Oh still. Like I said, they look pretty good. You don't really need a whole lot of work on them. They look good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. All right. Now, like I said, we're just going to do one hand. Then I'm going to remove all this stuff. And then we'll apply the thin layer of oil. And then we'll do your other hand. And you've got to be ready to go. You can just leave that oil on there. You can put makeup on over it. You don't have to wash it off. Because we're just going to put a small amount. We're not going to put a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to peel off the stickers. And I'm going to start with your thumb. I'm going to look at these here. And I'm going to match them up to see what size you need. Okay. Now just press that on. You just press and roll your finger over it. Push it down. Then we'll take my scissors and we'll trim off the excess on your thumb. Okay. I'll we'll take my nail file and I'm just going to file it down just like that. And all that does is it smooths it right on the edge of your fingernail. And it will make it nice and smooth and it will look perfect. Okay. Your thumb, and we'll do your index finger now. I'm just rolling my finger over your fingernail just to press this down. We'll trim it. Let me pick that off. And file. See how quick this is? We'll file it down. That'll be done in no time. Do your middle finger. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> what was it like? Honey, this woman was from another planet. That's the only way I know to describe her. She came she comes from a world I can't even relate to. I just I don't I, I didn't even I mean I you know that there are rich people out there. You know that there are. Let me get your ring finger. You know that there are rich people, but I'm not around pe people that rich. I don't know what her family does, but apparently she comes from old money or something. I don't know, but she's lived a very sheltered life. She doesn't even realize it. 
she thinks she's totally normal. Well, she was in for a shock when she moved to my place. For She stayed with me for a week and a half. She was only supposed to stay for a week. She ended up staying a week and a half. You know what? She wasn't all that upset about it. I don't know if she was just in shock or what, but she stayed with me three days longer than she had to. But that first couple days was rough. I'm going to get you... Let me get you picky. Okay. Trim it down. Yeah, she had a rough time out of there to start with. Honey. She came in and was just... <laughs> she, she walked in the house. She was with this man and woman. I don't know who they were, but I said, they got to go. I said, you're here by yourself. You are not going to have a staff while you stay at my house. All right, let me start talking. I'll, I'll tell you about it, and I'll start taking that stuff off your face. Now, you may want to close your eyes for this, because I'm going to spray a little water on your nose. Okay, now I'm going to take my cotton ball, and I'm just going to dab at it. She walked in my front door with those two people. I don't know if they were a butler and a maid or what. I didn't even ask. I said, they got to go. First things first, they got to go. So she made them leave. I don't know where they went. Get your chin. They went somewhere. They didn't stay. I said, they're not staying here. Uh-uh. You're going to be here by yourself. You're going to do what I say while you're here. They got to go. I'm just going to spray it right on the cotton. Oh, I'm going to get another one. I got it. I got it. It's not going to drip in your eye. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Just hold still. Um, so they left. And she showed up with about 20 suitcases. And they were all in the, the limousine or whatever she drove up in. I said, you're leaving all that crap behind too. I said, you need clothes to wear. You need toiletries. You need toothpaste and whatnot. You ain't bringing all that in my house. You ain't doing it. You're going to leave that behind. And she said, well, what? I can't talk. I can't talk like her. I can't do it. Uh, you know, she said, you know, she, she sounds like Foghorn Leghorn. She does. If you can imagine Foghorn Leghorn as a woman, that's what she sounded like. Yeah, from the cart from the cartoons. I Man, I hate to talk bad about somebody, but the way she talks is just who talks like that in the real world? I didn't think there were really people who sounded like that. I thought it was just in movies and stuff that people talk that way, but she did. And I don't think it was fake. I mean, she did it the whole time. Not what her mom and daddy sound like. They may sound different, but she sounded like a daggum female version of Foghorn Leghorn. She said, well, what am I supposed to leave behind? I said, whatever you don't need to wear or brush your teeth with or put on your arms to keep you from stinking. That's about all you need to bring in this house. Everything else stays in that car. So she ended up just a little bit stuffed. And she, she got in the house good, and she looked around, and she said, No, I can't say it like she did. You moved here deliberately? I want to smack her in the face. I said, Woman, look, you're in my house. You are not going to talk bad about me. A little sugary spot above your eyebrow. All right, now I'm going to come back and dab it with a, a dry cotton ball. I said, You're going to do what I say, honey. You are mine for a week, and you will do whatever I tell you to do. You done smack me with your car. I'm in a wheelchair. If I do try to get up, I have to rely heavily on crutches, and it hurts like the dickens to stand up at all. You will do what I say. And then she said, well, you threw a pen at me and caught it. I said, I'd have thrown something bigger if I could have reached it, but I couldn't get up. You knocked me over with your car and ruined my donuts. And then you insulted my hair without even checking to see if I was okay. I'll throw whatever I wanted at you. So she had to stay at my house. And she was so snooty about it. She didn't want to sit anywhere. She didn't want to touch anything. She was so ugh about everything in my house. So I got tired of her attitude one day. I said, uh, Scarlett, I saw my niece go to the store and I can't drive. Because you hit me with your car. I need you to go to Walmart for me. And she was all, you know, sure, whatever. You know, I said, you can take Jimmy's truck. And Jimmy got upset. I said, honey, if she wrecks it, you're going to get a new one. Don't worry about it. 
So she said, I'd be glad to go. I know the Waltons personally. I said, well, la dee da, now you're going to go in the store and you're going to buy me some stuff. So she said, okay, that's fine. You got a list? I said, I absolutely do. I, I've been preparing a list for her. Now, to keep in mind, this is a woman who's never gone shopping in her life in a store by herself. She's certainly never been in a Walmart. And she didn't know what she was in for. So I sent her to the Super Walmart in Nathanville. She had to drive to Nathanville and go to Super Walmart. And I gave her a list of the most ridiculous stuff. And I have it here because, you know, we have the scrapbooking class tonight at the church. And I brought, I brought some stuff for my scrapbook. I'm going to be putting it in there tonight during class. And we're supposed to have a discussion about different kinds of glues. Personally, I'm, I'm just a glue stick kind of gal. I don't need anything fancy. But I have that list there. I kept several things from our trip because so I'm going to remember her. But this is the way. Okay, now it did not look like this when I gave it to her. But this is how it came back to me. Look at this thing. Look, it's just tore up. She tore it up. I looked at it, I said, she got back from the store, her hair was all messed up, her mascara had run. Now, she was there for three hours. I gave her a list of stuff to get. God, I can still smell her. It smells like Chanel number no. five and despair. Smell. <laughs> Ain't it? Like, I'd made up a list for her to take. Because I want her to have a little fun at the store. Okay. Starts out pretty, pretty, pretty tame. Tater tots, Kleenex, and large trash bags. Not so bad. But then you get on down here, I put. <laughs> Depends Fit Flex Maximum Absorbency Underwear 64 pack, size small. <laughs> Always ultra thin long super pads with flexi wings, 58 count. Preparation H Hemorrhoid Cooling Gel with Aloe, 0.9 ounce. Moon pies, knee high grape, two cans of pork, uh, boiled peanuts, four bags of pork rinds, a half a pound of pork cracklings, and two packs of Dr. Scholl's mole skin. <laughs> Knowing good and well, she wouldn't know where most of this stuff was. She wouldn't be able to find it. She wouldn't even know what it was. I mean, if you had never had to buy them, would you know what always ultra thin, long super pads with flexi wings were? <laughs> I wouldn't even know what kind of store to go in to get that if I didn't know what that was. <laughs> she, so I said, here's your list. Here are the keys to the truck. Have a good time. Well, what about money? I said, honey, you can afford all this. I think you got this, right? You can pay for this. So she took off with her money and her keys and this list. <laughs> and the manager from Walmart called me about an hour later and said that she was in on the floor in the in the cereal aisle having some kind of fit. She said she was having vapors. I don't know what vapors are, but she was she was having vapors in the cereal aisle and she just collapsed on the floor. I said, I can't help her. I said, She she'll be fine. You just leave her alone, she'll find this stuff. It took her hours and hours and when she got back she looked like a coon had tore her up, like a raccoon had chased her up a tree and just beat her up. I'm telling you, her hair looked like a rat nest. Her mascara was just all over her face like some kind of sad clown. She just, she had a bruise on her arm. She didn't even know where she got it from. And the list came back like this. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. She tore it up. I never come back with a list like that. So, she got everything, believe it or not. I think she had some help, but she was very proud of herself. She was tore up and exhausted, and she went straight to bed after everything got put up. But you know what? The next morning, she, her whole attitude had changed. Her whole attitude was different. And, and she sort of started coming around a little bit. And she helped me clip coupons. She helped me do some yard work. I mean, she, she really, she was a different person after that trip to Walmart. And I think I think she, I think I did her a lot of good. I think I helped her more than she helped me. And she still had to come in the shop and work some, which Trish wasn't happy about. <laughs> Trish can't stand her. <laughs> she had some choice words for her. Okay, well then you do your lotion. Not, not your lotion, your oil. Now your face is okay. I got all the sugar off. It's all gone. 
and we have the fractionated coconut oil again. Open this up. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put just a little bit on my finger. Like I said, we're just gonna do a very small, thin layer of this. And I'm gonna do it on your whole face. First, I'm gonna go down your nose, on the sides, and the top, and the end, right under your eyes. I'm not gonna get it in your eye. Get a little more. Put it down the side of your face. Put it on your cheeks. And I'm gonna come on down your neck a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna get right into here and here. Okay. Get a little more. Okay. I'm gonna do over here on this side. Yeah. It's just like a nice massage. I'm just rubbing it in very gently. And we're not using much at all. It's a very small amount. I'm gonna get right over in here. Along your jawline too. And I'm gonna do your temples over here. I'm gonna get your temples just a little bit. Right there. Mm. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do your forehead. Okay, go right here. You don't have to close your eyes. You trust me. I'm not going to get it in your eyes. There. Hmm. There. Now. And that will soak in incredibly fast. And you won't even be able to feel it. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm going to do your other hand. And then we'll be all done. Let me put my list back before I lose it. Going in my scrapbook. You know, I did give her my phone number and she said that she would stay in touch with me. Well, we actually didn't part on too bad of terms. You know, things started out kind of rough and I, I'll admit I was kind of mean to her. You know, I, well, I was mad. Honestly, I was mad that she would hit me with her car and then act the way she did. But after talking to her a little bit, I got to realize, you know, she, she doesn't know any better. I mean, she just She's just somebody that grew up in a very sheltered environment, and she didn't mean anything by it. She wasn't, when she insulted me, she truly didn't mean anything by it. She was just offering to help. That was her way of trying to help. She didn't know. All right. But I still say she sounds like Foghorn Leghorn. I don't think I could ever get used to that. I, I really didn't know that there were people out there that sounded that way. I'm going to do your right hand. So, let's bring it up here. I'm going to start with your thumb. I'll just take my finger and just roll the sticker over your thumbnail. I'm going to trim off the excess. Now, I'm going to just file it down just, just a bit. Make it nice and smooth and it's not going to be rough on the edges. To your index finger now. Mm. Okay. Oh, my bracelet hit that. I have this cotton ball container. It's somewhat a bell, isn't it? And it has a metal lid on it. My my bracelet hit that. That was kind of fun. I'm gonna get and finish this. What you got planned for later today? Oh yeah? Huh. I didn't hear about that. Where is that? I'm surprised I didn't hear about that. Was it in the paper? I don't have to check that out. They got any tickets left? Well, I'll go look when we get done. That sounds interesting. And your ring finger. I'm gonna roll it on there. And trim it down. Even me out of here in 
just a minute. Yeah, I got a long day ahead of me. I don't know if I'll be able to get out of here and go to that. We got to look at the bug bombs and figure out when we can set those puppies off. Get your little, little pinky. We got to get out of, everybody out of here first. And we have to stay out of here for about six hours. So that stuff has time to work and so we don't breathe it in and die or whatever, grow a third arm. I don't know what happens if you breathe them in. Okay. Well, look at that. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. It's very nice. Very pretty. Very pretty. And see, they're dry. You don't have to wait. Well, let me get all this stuff out of your hair. I don't want you to, well, the oil, let me feel. Okay, you can still feel the oil on there a little bit, but I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Where are you going after you leave here? Okay. When you get home, you can just, you know, it'll soak you. And I bet by the time you get home, you won't even feel it anymore. But I'll get this stuff out of your hair. Let's see, I had two over here, didn't I? I had one up here. His hair sticking to it. And you swoopy hair right here. Get this big one out of there. You just there. There you go. Yeah, just do it like that. Alright, and then get that big old I'm gonna untwist your hair out of that thing. I'm gonna take the clip out first. Shake it a little bit and get the hair out. Okay, now just do it like that. There you go. And just fluff it back up. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Well, I think that is all that I was doing, right? Was I doing anything else? No? Okay. Wonderful. Um, yeah, oh no, don't worry about it. No, it's fine. I know, I understand. We'll just put it on your account. We'll, we'll settle it next time of year. I'll see you again. You can be here next week. Thursday. Okay, well, I'll be here and um, we'll settle up then. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, let me walk you out, and it was wonderful to see you. I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see if I can get out of here and go, but I don't know. I'm going to have to deal with the moths, so I may not get to, but if I see you there, that'd be awesome. Okay, come on, walk you out.